Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. I would like to speak on the Scott sisters, Latasha, Tamika, and their mom, and this $30,000 check. And apparently it's more than $30,000. Um, we're not, we don't have the total sum of all the money. Tamika have not stated that. But apparently, um, to meet the group escape, the three remaining members, Latasha, Tamika, and Candy, they were on Access Atlanta. And I watched that interview where Tamika, uh, well, all three of them explain the check situation to clear up any misconceptions of how did Tamika not know she didn't have a check? How did she, how did Latasha and Rocky, Latasha's husband, get their hands on the checks to be able to cash the check? And they cleared all of that up where people won't keep on speculating that Tamika is lying, trying to clout chase or anything like that. Because at first I did, I said, now I wasn't saying Tamika was lying. I really wasn't. I really believed her from the beginning. I was just hoping, and I said this, I was hoping it was a misunderstanding because both of them are, um, were in the, uh, were in the same group and it could have, and, and I was hoping, I don't know how, but I was hoping, fingers crossed, that it was a misunderstanding. Only because, I'm like, these are two sisters that were granted uh, beautiful singing gifts, and they were both in the same group, and living out they, living out their life, and I never knew, I don't know who else knew, but I never knew that their relationship was this is strange. I only thought that it was Latasha and Candy that did not get along in the group. So when I heard or when I seen on the show that it, that Tamika and Latasha, the sisters of the group, are not speaking as well, I was I was hoping it was a big misunderstanding, and you know it'll all be cleared up maybe you know a couple of episodes down the line. But apparently, Tamika sums it all up and spills all of the tea. And I was like, wow, how, how could you, Tamika? I mean, I'm sorry. How could you, Latasha? My, my mistake, my error. I'm not blaming Tamika. Actually, my heart goes out to Tamika. It really, really does. Because for you to work so hard for something... And to be rewarded, and Tamika has stated that when the chicks came in, that she was uh, she was pregnant with her with her uh, daughter. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, I'm not for sure which child she was pregnant with, but she did say she was pregnant. It didn't matter which child, but she stated she was pregnant, and she probably needed her money. And if she didn't need her money, it was her money. And so how dare somebody else come and just take what I've worked for. You got yours and you spent yours on whatever you want to spend yours on. And so you just going to keep mine and yours. How fair is that? So like I say, I was watching Access Atlanta and I'm going to um let y'all hear it from Tamika's, uh, from Tamika's mouth. She's like, baby, Tiny just got a nice little check, baby. Do you get your check, baby? I said, what check? This said, is to be because I signed you up a few years ago. I said, I haven't seen the check. Yeah. So I didn't know. So she's like, I'm going to get on the phone. Let me find out where your money. So once she did her investigation, they was like, her my address had been changed. She put my address in. At the time, I was living in New York. So she put my New York. It was changed to my mom and my sister's address. My sister was living with my mom at that time. 
Okay. And so you still really don't know how the address got changed. No. I want to stop right there for a moment. So at the time, uh, Tamika says at the time that the check, that, that she received the checks, Latasha, her sister and her husband, they were living with her mom. So that leads me to believe, <clears throat> I'm sorry, that leads me to believe that Latasha and her husband, they couldn't afford their own place or something happened to that effect where they needed that money. So it's not too far fetched for her to um not count the amount that of cashing that check. So they took that check and I don't know how they didn't think that she would ever find out. So they must have been on hard times to be living with their to be living with her mom. And Rocky must have really been on hard times. He living with it with his mother in law. So let's see. I know, which well, I didn't do it. Miss <laughs> Diane didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, allegedly, you know, according to you, Tamika, you know the checks were going. <laughs> I'm pulling the candy. Allegedly. Allegedly, <laughs> you got me here. She, yeah. She, they got, she got on the phone with the guy who basically, at the time, was running the Yeah, that department. Mm -hmm. And he basically gave her the address where her checks had been going. And he also told her, these checks are being cashed. And so mm -hmm. she was like, being cashed. And then she wanted to see the checks. And I, uh, they sent they sent the copies of the checks. On the back of the check was a fake handwriting that said my name and my sister's husband's name. It was cashed in his account. Wow. So I like endorsed. Endorsed. Yeah. Back then, I don't know if they could still do it now. So Tamika stated that the checks were sent to her mom's house. Her sister and her sister's husband were living with her mom at the time. So who got the checks? Her sister, when um, Tiny's mom investigated about uh, Tamika not receiving her check because she said that her mom called them to make sure that they received their checks. Tamika did not know anything about. And so her Tiny's mom, when they did her investigation, called the man and that was in charge of that department. The man told her, uh, gave her the address th where the checks were sent, which was Tamika and Latasha's mom, where Latasha and her husband were staying at the time. And when she and they sent her a copy of the cash check and the cash check had she said a forged signature of hers and it had um latasha husband's rocky bivens um signature on the check and so i'm like there's no way that they could get out of it i now the mom this further implicates the mom as well because the mail is coming to your house and I'm quite sure that if somebody is receiving some mail at your house, you know about it. Secondly, did y'all, all three of y'all get this, get this um, woman's check, cash it and split it? Or did y'all just did Tamika, I mean, Latasha and her mom just sit back and let Rocky run the show, take the check and do whatever he wanted to do with it. Is that how Tamika, I mean, I'm sorry. I keep saying Tamika. I am so sorry, Tamika. You just on my mind and my feelings go, my, my heart goes out to you. And I mean, anyway, did, Tam, uh, did, uh, Latasha and her husband, is this how they were able to get back up on their feet and get these nice, get a nice house, get these nice cars because they use not only Latasha royalty checks, but they use Tamika's royalty checks as well. And that's what put them back into, uh, you know, uh, getting back up on their feet. But my question is, once Escape, the, the group came back together and they started making money and, La and Tamika had already accused them 
of stealing the check. She went, she said she went to her sister and her sister didn't want to talk about it. So I'm quite sure. And she said that her mom was mad at her. Why would your mom be mad at, why would her mom be mad at her for questioning about something that belongs to her? $30,000, that's a lot of money. So why would her mom be mad at her? Because they're used to, they're used to getting, doing her wrong and her not speaking about it. She just going along with whatever they dished out to her. And so now the one time she speak up like, okay, wait a minute, what happened to my checks? She's still supposed to go along to get along and just say, okay, well, I didn't need it at the time that y'all know of. Y'all didn't know if she needed it at the time. She said she was living in New York at the time. So y'all don't know her pain, her struggles that she was going through. And I know, well, I don't. I don't know personally, but from what I hear, it's it's expensive to live in New York. So when they just took the money, didn't say anything, like she wasn't going to find out. Now they're saying, oh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. But your husband's signature is on the check. Like she signed her check over to her, over to Latasha's husband. Who would do that? I don't think for a second that Tamika would sign her, her check and give it to uh, Tasha's husband for what? And, and if she was to do that, which I know she didn't, why would she accuse him of stealing it? it I mean, she could have signed her own, her, uh, her own check. She got her own husband. So Latasha and the mom, they're mad because Tamika is speaking her truth and they're mad because they, because they know that they did her wrong. I went back and looked at episode one when the, when both of the sisters, Latasha and Tamika arrived at their mom's house and I watched how the mom greeted both of them as they entered her house. Now, when she greeted Latasha, Latasha arrived first. She greeted Latasha like, this is my daughter. I love her. And when she greeted Tamika, she greeted Tamika like she was a, a distant relative. Is that Tamika? Is that Tamika? I said, well... I don't care how long it's been since you've seen your daughter. You greeted one, one daughter in one way and you greeted the other sister in another way as if you, I mean, everybody could, I mean, you could see the tension between them. Now, nobody knew that there was tension between the mom and Tamika. But when you see Tamika walk through that door and how her mama greeted her, you can honestly see the tension that they're, that, uh, they have between each other. And even though Tamika has stated that Latasha is her mom's favorite, that still doesn't, I mean, it, it, it lets you in that there's a, um, that there's tension you know, that there's tension there, but it, you still don't know that how thick the tension is. And then when Tamika is given her side of the story of what happened at the venue, why she, um, uh, well, they so-called say she body shamed her sister. I don't, it wasn't body shaming. She's, she just said, if you had a butt to kiss and her sister could not be in an uproar over that. But her mom going to say quietly to Latasha, she jealous. Why would you say that to her? Why would you put that in her head that this, uh, that your, that her sister is jealous of her because now it's like you you just at that point you have picked your side and you stick it to it. 
Why couldn't that mom just be just that, a mom? Because Latasha is her mom's child and Tamika is her dad's child. It's just no simpler way to put it. To me, Latasha, all this is why your solo gospel career is not going to get the attention that you're looking for. It's getting the negative attention. It's attracting people are coming out the woodworks. Everything, all of your skeletons, all your dirt and everything is coming up because you claim to be this doting, good hearted person. And you know, you want to be a gospel solo artist. But the one one wrong that you could have righted, you when you got yourself on your feet, you and you it this ain't got nothing to do with your husband. This is with you. When you got yourself back up on your feet and you knew what you, your husband, and your mom and your mom had did. And yes, I'm blaming your mom too, because she's protecting Latasha and that husband to the bitter end so that means she is in on it too whether she got some of the money whether she cashed the check she or anything she's in on it but when but latasha when y'all got on y'all feet you knew that y'all had wronged your sister why wouldn't you go to your sister and say you know what sister i'm sorry that you had to go through this i'm sorry and I can't, you know, the only way I can make it right, I know, um, I know our relationship is not as, you know, as strong, whatever, but I, I'm going to pay you your money back. At least start to build that confidence back with your sister. Your sister didn't do this. You, your mother, and your husband did this. I feel as though Latasha, her mom, and Latasha, husband, is used to doing dirt to Tamika, getting away with it. And and because Tamika was just going along to get along for so many years that they, they felt as though that this was just one of those times that Tamika was not going to, uh, she was going to get over it because Tamika has stated she got, she moved past it. She forgave her sister. So they felt as though that it was over, said, and done with until, here we go, fast forward, and now it's coming up to the forefront. They are wrong. They are wrong. They are wrong. To make up, my heart goes out to you. It, I mean, I just wish it hadn't came to this point, but to make a, I'm going to say this. Get your money because he's wrong. He's so wrong. And Latasha, because she want to stand by her husband, she's not going to admit it. And the mama's because she's standing with Latasha and the and her husband, she's going to stand behind them to the bitter end. It's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.